Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, it's gonna be actually a very different kind of video because I can finally talk about the character that was data mined. And by data mined, I mean they f they found this picture in the data mine. Uh, Summer Mim, who is coming with Summer Alex. That's right, these are the two units that are coming for Summer in the next event. So, I'm going to talk about what I kind of want out of her. This is a very, very... I don't usually do these types of videos. I'm doing it for this unit because I absolutely love Mim with all my heart. So, that's what I'm going to... Um, that's why I'm doing this video. So, I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. If you, I'm also going to try and give some idea about what I want from Summer Alex because I feel like they're both kind of intertwined with each other. Um, but if I don't show her enough justice, then forgive me, um, because this is, this is pretty big. In terms of, uh, this is a unit I've wanted for summer since day one, and they're finally giving it to me, so. Pretty big, so let's start off, um, it looks like in this type of event, you'll be fighting against light element bosses, which means that these two should be shadow. Only problem is, is that I don't actually think both of these are going to be shadow. What I think is going to end up happening is that Mim is going to be shadow, and then Alex is going to be water because it also looks like this event has to deal with uh, Gala Reborn uh, Leviathan, which is probably the next Gala unit. Um, <clears throat> so, I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't it make more sense for uh, Alex to be the shadow unit and for Mim to be a fire unit? And for those of you saying, why does that make sense? That seems completely dumb. Uh, the reason it's because, well, Mim, she transforms into a fire dragon. So, Brunhilde, because Brunhilde is a fire dragon, and that's the reason why every Mim in the game, which is the two Mims, uh, Miriam is win because she is not technically Brunhilde. She is not Mim. She is the proto-Mim. So she, they got away with putting a Mim in another uh, category by making her the um, the inspiration for what Mim is. But anyway, that's the reason why Halloween Mim had to be put in fire, is because at the time they were like, well, there's not really much you can do when a fire dragon <laughs> is your main unit, is that she always has to kind of end up being fire. It wasn't a problem when Halloween Mim released, because Gala Mim at the time wasn't the greatest unit in the world. I think that's she was arguably one of the worst Gala units for a very long time until the buff happened that made her the extreme powerhouse that she is and that's when we created a problem. Gala Mim is too good for them to release a another Mim in fire. Um, the reason I think this, and this is actually kind of related to Alex, because I think Gala Alex is too strong for them to release another shadow unit that is also Alex. Uh, the reason is, is that if you're a person like me, What's the benefit? If you can only use one Mim, and there are three Fire Mims, you're always going to pick the Gala uh, Fire Mim, because she's the strongest of all of them. This new Mim would have to be so insanely good that it would justify you not bringing in Gala Mim. Um, and the same thing goes for Summer Alex if she was made Shadow. If she was made Shadow, then she would have the same issue, because all Alexes are Shadow, so not only is she fighting with the superior... Um, uh, Gala Alex, she's also fighting the 4 version of Alex, which I believe does not have a mana spiral yet and will eventually get one whenever they get around to it. Uh, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a mana spiral. I don't remember them giving her one. I know Laxie doesn't have one. Uh, so yeah, I think for this event, Shadow makes sense because it is fighting light bosses. If you look at this amazing swimsuit Mim's got on, it's purple. That's the color of Shadow. Obviously, that is a sign. <laughs> Um, and to be fair, I think this issue kind of exists with a lot. It's the same name issue, which is units that, um, like, for example, I think Hope and Templar Hope are both are in the same team, but you always end up using Templar Hope. I think that's kind of how it goes. Um, but there's plenty of units. Like, Gala Luca actually has, uh, Luca in general has this problem until the green one came out, the wind one, is that... In the beginning of the game, when Gala Luca released, there were actually three Lucas that were all light. And if you were a Luca fan, let's say you love Summer, you love Summer Luca, you love regular Luca, and you love Gala Luca, uh, you would have to constantly pick and choose which one you would want to want to which one you would want to use because you can't use them all on the same team because the same name. 
and it ended up being the case of like, well, if there's if I can only pick one of these Lucas, I'm always going to pick Galaluca because he's the best one of them all. Um, I think nowadays, uh, Ga after regular Luca got a Mana Spiral, maybe that's not always the case. Um, but for me, I would really prefer it if she did not become Fire and she was Shadow. And then once we actually reach the Shadow, it enters the question of, well, well what element does Shadow actually need? If I'm being honest, Shadow is also not the greatest element for her to be in. If I were to have a choice, I would say... No, not water either, because water would be my other choice, but you can't really have water because of um, the abundance of water-turning dragons that exist. They already have their version of Mim uh, with Mama Mercury, so Mim would have a very similar um, uh, style of doing it. And to be honest, Wind doesn't need it either. Hmm, it's actually very tough now that I think about it. Because in my mind, Zodiac and Jupiter would eventually become the light and um, shadow dragon version of those two elements. But if Mim shows up early, then I think that kind of puts things a little bit weird. But no, I still think Shadow would end up working fine for her. The problem is, is that Shadow doesn't really need a lot of units, so I don't know what role she could really fit. Maybe she could be Blade, but to be honest, I think there's some pretty decent blade units already on um, on Shadow with Iyasu and I forget the other girl's name. But it ends up being Blade is the, is the class that there's just not a lot of units in. So any more of those type of units would be good for more players in general so we can have more options in it. Actually, let me take a quick pause and look at Shadow real quick and see what actual class they need. Alright, and here we are with Shadow. So swords, one, two, three... For three, so wow, really three three stars. But to be fair, all of them are pretty solid. Alberia, Scala, Alex, and I don't remember if Yatsan's actually good. But Audric's pretty solid. Berserker, I don't remember. And Rodrigo, I also don't have any experience. Let's look at Blade. Uh, we got Linia, Natalia, Yasu, Aldred, Durant, and Taro. So I end up thinking, hmm, maybe it's not Blade. Let's look at Dagger. Dagger has Joker, Nevin, Belinda. Delphi, Alex, Orion, Vita, and Vice. So really, they don't need it for there either. Slick it Axe, Dragon Yule Victor, Summer Batia, Karan, Sazanka, and Eric. They could probably use another Axe unit just to kind of go with it. I think Axe would kind of make sense, though. You would have two Shadow. You would have two Mims would that use an Axe. Um, next we got Spear, which would make the most sense because Gala Mim is a Spear unit. We got Lafna, Forte, Batia, Botan, and Zace. These three end up being perfectly fine for everything Shadow needs in terms of Lance, so not really super needed there. And then we have uh, Arrow, Arrow, Bow, which has Opera Karina, Shell, Valentine's Aedis, Nefaria, and Norwin. I think they need more units... Wow, they only really have one four-star shadow? That's insane. Um, maybe because they need more options for more players to potentially have a shadow bow unit? Because this is insane! <laughs> There's only one? Um, no. And then we have uh, the staff over here, which just got Vania, they got Xenia, they got Cassandra, Galaclea. This is... No, I'm not even going to entertain this one. And then Staff, not really going to entertain this one either. And I think Mana Caster is literally the only... Would they give Mim a gun? I think an axe or a gun are the best options for Mim if she were Shadow. But yeah. I really don't want her to be Fire. I think this video should be really titled, God, I hope she's not Fire. We're going to have to wait and see what she can get. In terms of Alex, I just think she's going to be a water unit. I don't know what class. I think, in general, water could use help anytime so <laughs> if she can be any class and be good then you'd be perfectly fine water's not that bad it's just the, the the class i have the least fun playing so that's why i give them a little bit of heart now, if i'm being honest light would be needing it way more than her but uh it's not that bad so yeah that's the, that's my video this is just me kind of giving my thoughts on where I would like to see them take Summer Mim. Obviously, when we actually get information, I'll gladly talk about that and give uh, my thoughts on it. This is a very special video for a very special lady. She is... I'm not kidding when I said... When I found out she was the unit coming, it took absolutely everything in me to not just say out loud in a video right then and there, 
Holy shit, Summer Mim is coming. And I ended up fighting back on it, because I was like, I... This is something that a lot of Mim fans have been wanting since she basically got introduced and the idea of Summer Units got introduced. Because if you weren't there for when I think Summer released, absolutely every friend unit got a... Not a, a unit for Summer, they got a um, art art for it. So like, uh, there's Summer Cleo, there's, there's art for Summer Ellie. They don't use it as a unit, but there's plenty of art for Summer Ellie around. Summer the Prince, Summer uh, Ronzel, Summer Luca, Summer... Uh, I want to say no Laxie, actually. But it was the main cast. There's no Summer Cerise either. <laughs> Which, you know, C Cerise fans just got a unit, so they don't need another unit. Um, but to be fair, I think Galicleo and then Summer Cleo released basically in the same window. <laughs> um, this is a unit I've been waiting for for a very long time. I will gladly look at what she does when it happens. I've kind of given my thoughts about what I want out of her. Uh, in terms of the kit, obviously she's going to be built like every other single dragon. She's going to have probably two transformations. Actually, I don't know if she's going to have a two transformation like uh, Gala Mim and Mercury does. Because Halloween Mim doesn't. Um, and neither does uh, Midgorsoma, the human version. But he's also free to play, so maybe that's why they didn't give him two uh, two forms. Or maybe it was before he had two forms or some something like that. Um, so obviously he's gonna be built like that. I hope they give her a gun. And statement. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. <laughs> it's very different. But I figured I shared something. is on a roll in terms of exciting things. We got the whole bunch of multis coming, and we got Summer Mim coming. And hopefully the rest of you come to this video and like it. I tried to save it. There was no way to save it, but uh, that's it for me, everyone. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.